My name is Nicholas and I'm studying a Bachelor of Asia Pacific Studies with a year in Asia. So I've just come back from my year in Asia. So I was in Beijing for a year studying at Peking University and it was really a step up for my language learning. So going out of the classroom, five hours in the classroom to 20 hours a week, being surrounded by the language 24 seven, it really made, forced me to you know, speak it, to go out of my comfort zone and talking with people on the streets, you know, you don't have the language to talk to them that well, so you have to use what you know, find a way to communicate what you want to. The whole year I was in China, I was offered so many opportunities I wouldn't have had. Otherwise, you know, I never thought about playing rugby in Beijing or, you know, full driving through the sand dunes in Inner Mongolia. So I had three months of traveling in the summer holidays and I pretty much took every chance I had with it. China has not just one culture, there's so many cultures and different groups of people and languages, and it's all about discovering those too. Probably one of the biggest lessons I got from my experience in China was uh, independence. So kind of being thrust into a new environment with people you don't know, you really had to you know, pull yourself up by your bootstraps and that was a really humbling experience. One experience I always tell people about my travels in China was when I was in Hangzhou and I really wanted to see a tea village and then I ended up going to a farm where they showed me their tea, they invited me in um, and I just spent the day just hiking through tea fields with no one else around and it was a really good experience because I was so used to being in Beijing where there's people everywhere and then to come to a place in China where it's basically deserted and you've got it for yourself, it was just amazing. I chose to study international security studies because I was very interested in history and international politics. I was really interested in how Australia's military and national security strategies work in East Asia. I think the teaching experience at ANU is quite unique in that you have very small classes so you're able to interact with your teachers quite intimately and you also have the benefit of being taught by not just these leading experts in Australia but leading experts in the world when it comes to international security and strategic studies. So outside the classroom as well, probably one of the best, best opportunities ANU's given me, it sounds a little bit corny, but is that I've made lifelong friends here. So coming, moving away from home, coming to Canberra and meeting new people was a pretty daunting experience. But yeah, made some really close friends from that. Canberra is not what you expect it to be. It's a super exciting place. You know, at ANU and in Canberra, it's really easy to make this place your home. And you've got the benefit of being at the best university in Australia with some really great world-leading experts teaching you.